Hi, I'm Jim Stingle, columnist at the Journal Sentinel. Uh, this week we dedicate the Fonzie statue downtown, and uh, right now I'm supposed to be meeting up with some of the uh, crew, you know, uh, Potsy and uh, Shirley, or as you may or may not know them, Anson Williams and Cindy Williams. We're supposed to kind of hang out today. <laughs> uh, first we hit the streets with Potsy, visiting Discovery World and the Les Paul exhibit. Every time I've been to Milwaukee, I feel I felt that way. It's such a tactile city, you know, the warmth of it, but it's also amazingly sophisticated. I mean, LA has a lot to learn. Yeah, well, we're so proud of Henry that he created this iconic character that continues to connect with the world. I mean, each generation after generation, and I think uh, I think everyone who goes by that statue is going is, is going to have a little smile. Then we hooked up with Shirley. Hey, after a few autographs, it was off to Miller Coors. So I'm looking forward to today going to the brewery to see the actual brewery that was supposed to be the brewery in Laverne and Shirley, which was Schott's, which was short for Schlitz, I think, at the time. And um, so I'm really excited about this. It's like going back home again. Nice to meet you. I watched your program all the time when I was younger. What is your name? Dan Perez. Dan, a pleasure to meet you. Are you taking a picture of this? Did this used to be Paps or Schlitz? Or? Well, no, it's always been Miller. Always been Miller. Years. It's been Miller. Wow. Miller. You know, they place down below. Yeah, right below. Is all this beer? Like in Willy Wonka, it's all candy. This is all beer. So what did you think of the tour? Fabulous. I just loved everything, especially the smell, and especially when Andy let me drink that 36-pack. <laughs> just joking. <laughs> Thanks, Tim. <sighs> okay. Bye. Bye. Bye.